Uh, yeah, actually I'm in desperate need of an espresso and you're the ones available here. You have it available here at European Bioplastics sure. Conference. Could you please give me a strong one? Yes, of course, sure. <laughs> it's actually the best choice you can have. Yeah, that's it's the a real Italian one, right? It's the Italian one it's, uh, and it's probably the best tasting one. We have to wait a little second. Uh, because the product is really nice. It's actually a product which has been designed for the people which uh, look after their own health mm -hmm. and after sustainability and combine that. So it is actually a product which is fair trade coffee. It's organically grown and it's little in acid, which is good for the stomach actually. And by the way, it tastes excellent. So, ah, there, there they are. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I learned in this project that good coffee is done if the uh, temperature is not too high, but the pressure is high. And then the extraction process is good, and then it works well. Okay, so maybe I can uh, just uh, continue to talk. So, having said that the coffee itself is quite special, in the sense of being organically grown, fair trade, and so on, um, the company which came up with the idea of having this coffee came to us and asked us, we need a packaging which is just having the same messages mm. being sent. And um, that is what it is. So we, we came up with the first certified biodegradable coffee capsule, which is which you can see here. So this entire thing does. Thank you so here much. you are. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. So actually what you see here is biodegradable completely. That means within a couple of weeks, four weeks, it's totally gone. And that is making very much sense here because you know you've coffee inside. The coffee is wet after it's being brewed mm. and so nobody really opens this up and puts one part into the compost and the other part into the whatever green dot or plastics uh, um, waste stream so all together it can be put into the composting and that makes very much sense the, the company that makes the coffee um it, yes it's actually the swiss coffee company the brand name is binarella right it's a startup company they just started last year okay. and they will start to grow this year in Christmas time they want to offer the machine the machine comes along with the coffee they have different types of coffee and they work together with the eldest uh, coffee making company in Switzerland and that's why they get this good taste from and, and this is a this is a, an extremely appropriate uh, blend of environmental concerns and marketing um, savvy yes 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 and and how have sales been do you know yeah they are well actually they are limited by production capacity so ah. the, the sales are excellent could be higher but uh, they are just into the multiplication phase so sales are really good it's picking up the concept flies people understand that it's making sense and they can have this you could say this is not a very um, sustainable way of coffee I mean you you have one capsule per one oh, I cup, see. Yes. yeah, like the Nespresso things. Mm -hmm. and um, But here you can combine that, so you can do a sustainable way of making capsules. Now, I believe they've come up with an interesting way of, of, uh, of end of life for the, for the used capsules. You're right. right, you're right. That's the key to it. I mean, it doesn't help to make it biodegradable if it's not biodegrading in the end. By the way, the, the packaging around is also biodegradable. I wondered. So it's also, and it has high aroma barrier. It's quite complicated for... And for that's also a BASF solution. Ex exactly, yes. yes. And um, so the end of life is important, yes. And uh, here you have to be very local in your solution. So in Switzerland, there's two ways. One is really that the post who delivers the refilling packages oh. does take back the, uh, the, the uh, used capsules. And for the bigger part of the business so far, this is installed in actually um, in, in offices and, and public parts where there's a company which maintains and they also do collect it. It's all sent to one facility uh, which does anaerobic digestion mm -hmm. and afterwards a composting step. Is Beanarella available in retail stores or is it only available online? It's uh, for the time being it is still only available online mm -hmm. and for, uh, for bigger companies in terms of offices. They're just working on it. So you can find it online and uh, they're just working on the retail market to find the right distribution. Now I know that you, you're charged with sourcing new business opportunities for bioplastics within BASF. I mean, I'm bound to wonder if you've had a conversation with Nespresso. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I can, I can talk about this, but I can uh, assure you that there is a huge interest. This is uh, like a showcase and we published it first in, uh, on, on the K-Fair.
mm. uh, which was earlier this year, and uh, it really um, triggered a huge request from many companies. Well, I know you're winning lots of industry prizes, and congratulations on that, and good luck with them. Thank you very much. For your Thank time you very much. Thank you. Okay.